Today's story comes from John 9. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man who had been blind from birth. Rabbi, his disciples asked him, why was this man born blind? Was it because of his own sins or his parents' sins? It is It was not because of his sins or his parents' sins, Jesus answered. This happened so the power of God could be seen in him. We must quickly carry out the tasks assigned to us by the one who sent us. The night is coming, and then no one can work. But while I'm here in the world, I am the light of the world. Then he spit on the ground, made mud with the saliva, and spread the mud over the blind man's eyes. He told him, go wash yourself in the pool of Siloam. Siloam means scent. So the man went and washed and came back seeing his neighbors and others who knew him as a blind beggar asked each other, isn't this the man who used to sit and beg? Some said he was, and others said, no, he just looks like him. But the beggar kept saying, yes, I am the same one. They asked, who healed you? What happened? He told them, the man they called Jesus made mud and spread it over my eyes and told me, go to the pool of Siloam and wash yourself. So I went and washed, and now I can see. The Pharisees were unhappy about Jesus healing the man on the Sabbath their holy day, and deeply questioned the man about Jesus. When Jesus heard what had happened, he found the man and asked, Do you believe in the Son of Man? The man answered, Who is he, sir? I want to believe in him. You have seen him, Jesus said, and he is speaking to you. Yes, Lord, I believe, the man said, and he worshipped Jesus. I have some questions for you about this story, so push pause and talk about the answers with each other. What did you learn about God from this story? I wonder why the teachers of the law and the Pharisees were so upset about what Jesus did. I wonder what Jesus has done for us. I wonder who we can tell about this. Let's pray. God, thank you so much for who you are that you came down to earth to be with your creation, to show us your way of loving others and that you were compassionate and healed people from all sorts of things and that you still heal today. Only that sometimes our problems that we have aren't necessarily physical things that need healing. They're things that we think or do, ways that we don't care or aren't being kind to others. Help us to give those to you and ask you to heal them. And thank you so much for the things that you have done in our lives that are things that we should be sharing with others, telling them how you make a difference in our lives. Help us to be able to share those things with the people around us and show them your love. We love you. Amen. Hello and welcome to NFC's Children's Church. I'm glad you've joined us today. Let's do some activities together. Let's start with our memory verse. It comes from Isaiah 41.10, and let's put some hand motions to it. I have it right here. So do not fear. That's the sign language for fear, like this. Do not fear. 
for I, God is talking, am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. So try that and practice it this week, and we'll try again next week. Hi everybody! I got to be out at Twin Rocks this week, and I thought it would be a great idea to have some camp counselors do a fun camp song for you, so enjoy! Woo! Funky yeah! Chicken! Funky Chicken! Okay. Alright! Oh gosh. Go on, Sam. Go on, All right, Sam. Sam. All right, you guys ready? Oh, yeah, let's go. Baby. Let me see your funky chicken. What's that you said? pause and share requests about your family and friends and your neighbors and um, spend some time praying. Remember that God is listening. I want to read Jeremiah 29, 12 and 13 to you. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. So let's seek the Lord together. For our Bible game today, let's spend some time looking at Bible verses, and I want you to take note of what each of these verses is about, and at the end, see if you can figure out the theme of the verses. And uh, try to look them up as fast as you can. Practice your Bible looking up skills, and the first one to get to it, read it out loud, and the second one can explain what they think it means to them, and then on the next verse, you can take turns and switch. So the first verse comes from Matthew. It's Matthew 14, 14. Go. Next, look up Mark 6, 56. Now find Matthew 15, 30. Go. How fast can you find Luke 4, 40? Now look up Mark 7, 37. And last, find Matthew 9, 35. How fast were you able to look up these verses? Hopefully you're getting faster at finding them and practicing your skills. So were you able to figure out what the theme of all of these verses was about? 
That's right, Jesus healing people. And I just think it's a wonderful thing to know that not only did Jesus um, create all of this for us and, our, and ourselves and uh, made us in a wonderful way and our bodies work in amazing ways, but he also spent so much time when he was on the earth healing people of the things that were wrong with their bodies. And uh, he still heals today. And so we can thank him for that. And you can play this game at home too. Just find some verses that you can quiz each other on and see how fast you can go and time each other and get faster at looking up Bible verses. I hope you have a good time doing that this week. For our craft response today, maybe you have some things around your home that you can make a craft to help you remember the story of the man who Jesus healed that was blind. Um, and how that translates to our lives. You know, maybe you don't need healing, a physical healing of some sort, uh, but I think all of us have spiritual blindness in some ways that we don't necessarily see others the way that God sees others, uh, or even ourselves sometimes. We judge other people and uh, sometimes judge ourselves too, and uh, we aren't as forgiving as we should be or as accepting as we should be, and God wants to heal all of those things too. So if you can make a craft that will help you remember that, I made one, a simple one that, uh, is following the story a little bit. I, I have a paper bag here and I, I, I put the flat part in the front where my fingers can go. And so I have, this is supposed to be like the blind man and I can move the mouth and uh, act out the story with this. If I made a Jesus puppet, I could do the same with this hand. And at the end of the story, he gets his eyes opened and he's healed of his blindness and so I made a flap that shows his eyes being opened at the end. So you can make one of those too if you would like to and act out the story at home. And I hope that you have a great week and that you remember that God loves you and that he's working in your heart to make you more and more like him. Blessings on you. Mm -hmm.